Hello friends, this video on coordinate geometry part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Okay, so let's take some more examples where we'll be able to represent these points. So this point A. So this point A you see, as per our Cartesian system, we have to write x coordinate, comma, y coordinate. That is, absolute sum, comma, coordinate. So x coordinate is what distance along x axis. So along x axis, this is the only distance, right? Because this is the only line parallel to x axis, which is touching this point, and distance from y axis. So if you see this point is four, comma, y coordinate is what distance along y axis. This is y axis. So we'll draw a line parallel to y axis, and then. Distance from x axis. So, what is the point? Distance of this point from x axis. This is zero because this point is on x axis. So, this line will be four comma zero. Let me be once again. This point, distance along for x coordinate, distance along x axis from y axis is four. So, four comma. For y coordinate, distance along y axis. From x axis, x axis is zero, right? So this x coordinate is distance along x axis. Y coordinate is distance along y axis. Let's talk about this point. For point B, x coordinate. X coordinate is distance along x axis. This is the x axis. So we'll draw a parallel line from x-axis. So if you see, this is a parallel line. And what is the distance along x-axis from y-axis? Zero, because there is no y-axis. So x, co x coordinate is zero. Let's talk about y-coordinate. Y-coordinate is distance along y-axis, that is this distance. And distance from x-axis, that is this distance. And this is three unit. This is zero comma three. Let's talk about point C. Point C is, Distance along x axis. So along x axis, this is the distance that is minus y. And y axis, y point y ordinate is distance along y axis. Right? From x axis. And that is zero. So if we draw a parallel line here, if you see for this point, distance from x axis is zero. And that is zero. So minus five comma zero. Talk about point D, x coordinate. X coordinate is what? Distance along x axis. So this is the x axis. If you draw a parallel line, this is x axis. But distance along x axis, but distance from y axis. So the point, the distance from y axis is zero only. Right? This is on the y axis. Zero comma. Now y coordinate. Y coordinate is nothing but distance along y axis distance from x axis right along and from is different so along y axis this is from x axis this value is minus 4 this will be 0 comma minus 4 please pause the video try to plot these points on your own once you get confident you can proceed okay so once you get confident you don't have to look into all these things just by looking at the point you can say this is 0 comma 3 this is minus 5 comma 0 you can just say, you need some practice. Right? Pause this video, try to plot some 100, 200 points on your own and then you'll get the confidence. Without practice, this is difficult. So as I have told you that, I gave you some examples. As For example, uh, if you plot some point here, in the first quadrant, both X and Y coordinates are positive. In the second quadrant, X is negative, Y is positive. In third, both are negative and in fourth, x is positive, y is negative. Don't mug up, just understand why x coordinates point will be from x axis, all positive, so it will be positive. In this quadrant, y is also positive, so it has to be positive, right? If we talk about this coordinate, x will plot somewhere here, so x is negative because it's all negative. y, you will get something from here, y is all positive, so y has to be positive. If we talk about this coordinate, both x and y will be negative, so both are negative. If we talk about this coordinate, here x is positive, x 
is positive. Why values are all negative? If you see, so why is negative? Don't mug up. Just if you know the concepts, you can easily say that first quadrant both are positive, third quadrant both are negative, in second x negative, y positive, x negative, y positive, in fourth x positive and y negative. Okay, let's do a quick recap. What is the name of horizontal and vertical lines drawn to determine the position of a point? What is the name of this line? x, x dash and y, y dash? Yes, you're right. So x, x dash is x axis and y, y dash is y axis. So x axis and y axis are the name of the horizontal and vertical lines. What is the name of each part of the plane formed by these two lines? So if you see, there are four parts. First quadrant, second quadrant, third and fourth. So the name of each part will be quadrant. First quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant. What is the name of the point where these lines intersect? These lines intersect at this point. And what is the name of this point? I told this point is called origin. In by 0, O. And this point is actually 0, 0 because this point x and y coordinates both are 0 and 0. Okay. So let's take one more example where we have to find these uh, coordinates. So this is important. Once you are comfortable in that, you can actually plot these points given the coordinates. So let's try to find uh, from B. Is there A as well? Let's see B, C, D, E. There's no way. Let's start with B. For B, x coordinate and y coordinate. X is along x axis and y is distance along y axis. For x, along x, this is the line and this distance is what? Minus y. For the y axis, along y, along y, this distance is what? If you see, now since it is in the second quadrant, this is first, this is second, this is third, and this is fourth. So this is the second quadrant, and we see that in second quadrant, x is negative, y is positive. So x has to be negative and y has to be positive. Let's plot C now. See if you see here, x axis along x, this is the x axis. So along x axis, this, this is how much? Five y is along y, along y, this, this is also what? Minus 5. And if you see in the fourth quadrant, we have told that x will be positive, y will be negative. x is positive, y is negative. Let's talk about b, c, d. Let's talk about d. x is along x axis, this distance. How much is this distance? 6. y is along y along y this distance, how much is this distance, 2, you see first quadrant both are positive, let's talk e, e x is along x axis, along x axis this distance, how much is this distance, minus 3, see the minus 3, comma, y, y is along y, along y this is how much, minus 5, this is minus 3 comma minus 3. You see, third quadrant, both are negative. x negative, y negative. x negative, y negative. E is then, this is f, no. This is g, yeah. Let's talk about this point. x, x coordinate will be along x axis. This is along x axis. This distance is 2. So, 2, 2 comma. y is along y axis. This is y axis. And then y axis distance is what? Minus 4 if you see. So I'll put minus 4. So 2 power minus 4. Okay. Let's talk about this point G. If you see G, G point here, x is positive, y is negative. X is positive, y is negative. Both points. H. Let's talk about H. H along x axis, the point x coordinate. This is x axis. This distance is what if you see? Minus 5. The minus five, and then this distance is what y axis. This distance is what minus three. 
So you see minus 5 minus comma minus 5 minus 3 is the point. You see third quadrant both x and y negative. So the last point left in this is L. X for x you have to find distance along x axis. Did you see? It is 0. If you draw a line also, it is 0. So x axis distance is 0. For y, if you see, this is the distance 5. 0, 5 is the point L. Okay. One point, please note that xy coordinates is not equal to yx coordinate. For example, 3, 2 is not equal to 2, 3. If you see, I can plot this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is minus 1. This is 1, 2, 3, 4. Since I am taking only positive example, this is not required to plot. But if you want to plot, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. So if you plot 3, 2, we will see how to plot 3, 2 later. But this is 3, 2. Talk about 2, 3. This is 2, 3. Right, so they are not same, they are different. This is just to uh, help you understand that. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality educational videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.